Greetings, Kindred. I am Voivode Maquette, and welcome back to our World of Darkness and Level by Level, where we are currently going through Level by Level of all of the Thin Blood Alchemy powers that there are. This is the second uh, actual discipline episode that we are going to be doing today, and it's going to focus on the Thin Blood Alchemy ability of Haze. The book says... This formula creates a field of mist that follows the user, rendering them more difficult to target with ranged weapons and concealing their identity. So you actually create a mist or a fog that, that radiates around you and actually will travel with you from place to place. So you're not stuck stationary in this area. And the idea that if someone tries to fire at you, you have a better chance of not being hit and almost no chance of being identified is is very, um, very useful when it comes to thin bloods and the dangers that they face because being shot for them is a lot worse than being shot for a regular vampire. And being able to, and I, what I mean by that is just feeding rights is really difficult. Most of them don't have feeding rights and they have to poach to get through or to work with a herd that they have gathered for alchemical purposes. So every thin blood alchemy uh, ritual or discipline power has ingredients needed because to activate alchemy you're taking one item and another and fusing them together now for this one it says in addition to the alchemist's own blood phlegmatic human blood dry ice or cigar smoke or auto exhaust so you need your own blood and phlegmatic human blood that is 100 percent necessity but then you need that extra item that works on an almost sympathetic magic quality now if you remember in one of my older videos on thaumaturgy and i'm sure once we hit blood sorcery i'll get into this again in more depth but there are primarily two types of magical practicing in the world sympathetic and hermetic sympathetic magic is going to be magic that you are producing a like attracts like uh reaction a good example of this would be a person who takes baneful herbs and a photo of a person and sticks that in a jar filled with water and then puts it in the back of their freezer to freeze that person in their tracks so they no longer harass them. Or in the old days, sailors used to trap winds inside of knots on cords so that in times of need in still air when they're out on the ocean and they need to get home or get to another place, they could untie a knot to release the wind and cause it to go. These were amazing old traditions and superstitions that existed in the real world and some still exist today. This is the kind of thing that's practiced today in positive thinking and things like that, where you write positive affirmations to make that kind of thing true in your reality. Basically, the concept of the secret. Now, the other type of magic, alchemical magic, is more of mathematical, this is how the world works kind of things where you are, again, and, and this can even be broken down into more of a sympathetic magic type of thing, but it's more of things giving off specific vibrations to affect things in different ways. But again, we're not going to go fully into that. That's a headache. Uh, that uh, we will save for blood sorcery. Once we get to the Tremere, we will do headaches because that's what they are, right? Um, no, I love, I actually do love the V5 Tremere. I think they're amazing. Um, I think Thaumaturgy needs a little bit more of a power injection, but other than that, it's actually pretty cool. As far as ingredients go, you're going to need your own blood and the blood of someone else, which is typical for all blood alchemy applications. In this instance, you are going to need phlegmatic blood. Uh, probably because the heightening of the mind aspects. Because if you remember, phlegmatic has a lot to do with aspects and dominate. But in this application, we're using it mixed with either dry ice, cigar smoke, or car exhaust. Now, you could use something else because of those three suggestions are just that, suggestions. You could possibly use incense, uh, or you could use 
uh, fog juice from a smoke machine. But the, the concept is stated right there that this is a sympathetic style of magic where you are going to use that to create a fog around yourself. So, moving on with the activation cost. It's one rouse check. However, there are stipulations if you are going to be using this in other ways, which is actually covered in the system. Upon activation, a cloud of mist-like vapor surrounds the alchemist, masking their features and obscuring their silhouettes. Anyone attempting to identify the user or hit them with a ranged weapon suffers a two dice penalty to their pool. The user can extend the cloud to encompass a group of up to five people by making another rouse check. So if you activate this discipline and use two rouse checks, it will actually cover up to five individuals, giving it something akin to uh, Cloak the Gathering obfuscate, which is actually kind of neat. I like the idea of this discipline. It's very, um, it's very cinematic. And the idea that this, this fog is just gathering around you and swirling and obscuring vision is, is very, it's, it's something that I would actually love to see in a movie, uh, at that, that point. And vampires have always had the ability to handle these kinds of powers to control the mists. But the fact that we've gone into this, uh, this drug lab age of vampire advancement, uh, we, we're really seeing some cool stuff where the vampires that we have now are starting to become less and less prominent and they're being replaced with these garage scientist types and it's such a neat neat thing to see. Uh, the duration of this discipline is one scene or until voluntarily ended. So you can shut it off yourself. That's neat. So it will disperse. I'd like to hear if any of you have ever used this discipline in any fashion. Uh, I have had amazing responses hearing from people uh, talking about house rules for how this works and how you can extend it towards the use of other people and, and things like that. But I think this is actually covered fairly well. Now the idea of creating house rules to make it a little bit different is definitely something that you should do. You should definitely make this your own personal thing. And I'm not just talking about for the game, I'm talking about individual practitioners. Individual practitioners should have specific side effects or or different styles of the maybe different uses i mean as it is if you did use something like the fog the fog juice from smoke machines for from the halloween store or something like that that stuff has an interesting distinct smell and that is something that could actually come through in the use of this discipline so i am voivode maquette this has been level by level and a look at haze the thin blood alchemy uh level that really has picked up more of the old thaumaturgy weather control than I actually expected. Uh, next, we're going to go to Profane Heros Gamos, which I probably just butchered, and I'm sure somebody will correct me on that. But thank you for joining me, and I cannot wait to get to the next level. Good evening.